what the heck is this, guys? Yo, this is not a good way to start my morning. I think I'm gonna have some nightmares after this. As a matter of fact, I might get some daymares as well. What is this thing? Why does it look so realistic, but also kind of animated? I mean, look at that hand. And is it trying to break through? This video is called starving.help. Is this thing asking me to help it? Because uh, <laughs> I'm not going to do that, bro. I'm not your man. Hold on. Y'all might have some questions like, Mark, I just clicked this video. What the heck was that? Well, I found this channel called Dr. Nowhere. And apparently they've been uploading some of the most disturbing, strange, and creepy videos on YouTube right now. What we just watched is called T-O-E, which might be a coincidence, spells toe. And toes are kind of freaky. So I don't know. I feel like that might be on purpose. Starving.help. This is the first video on this channel. And um, it's got 930,000 views. Holy crap. A lot of people got traumatized after watching this, I'm pretty sure. So there's a bunch of other videos on this channel. And we're going to try to watch all of them without fainting. Has this ever happened to you? All the lights. What? Has this ever happened to you? Uh, I don't know yet. Maybe if you told me it's what? It's getting dark outside. Yep, that, that's happened to me. I do get ready for bed sometimes. Cold glass of water. A cold glass of water, yep. All the lights in the house. Yep, all the lights. Do that all the time. Yep. Do you feel that? Or maybe hear that? That sinking feeling that something is following you as soon as yep. you turn off the yep. lights? Yup. Well, worry not. It's just in my head, right? We have a brilliant solution. There is nothing that follows there you after you turn off the light. I'm gonna cry. <gasps> what was that? Bro, I was getting into the video. I was feeling safe and then this... <laughs> See, I have a hard time believing you now, bro, because your subtitles are red. Why are they red? Why are they not white or black or like any other color that's less creepy? Red is like the scariest color in the world. Blood is red. Uh. Uh. When, when, when you. When the teacher says you got an answer wrong, they usually use a red pen. So, like, name me one good thing that they use the color red for. Wait, what? Communism? I'm not gonna get into that. There is nothing that follows there you. Is nothing after that follows you. Okay. What is what kind of PSA is this? Who's making this stuff? Like lore wise. What's the story here? Is that thing like telling the truth or is that the thing that's like after me whenever I turn off the lights in my house? Cause I, I gotta know, bro. Cause I gotta turn off the lights tonight as well. And I'm I'm you know what? Forget about the electricity bill. I'm not gonna turn off the lights. Okay, it's getting increasingly more disturbing. And we're only two videos in. Let's see what this one called. T-O-E, love that thumper. And going off the thumbnail, it seems like this creature is the same creature from this video. So let's see if he ever got help with the starving situation. Wait, what is this? Somebody's filming. Hello. Huh? I think he's still calling for help. But where, what, what are we looking at here? What do you want? A person? What do you want? Who's filming this? Please and where go away. is this? Please go away. Go. Oh. Is that thing trying to break into a house? Is that what I'm seeing right now? No, wait. It's a screen. Dude, it just broke out of the screen. So they're definitely looking through, uh, at a monitor, right? But look, it looks like super 2D. But as soon as that stuff breaks... Look, check this out, guys. It like turns into 3D. <gasps> wait, 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 wait. We were kind of watching a video like this. And it kind of broke the window as well. Like, it, I guess it broke the camera lens or like it broke the screen that I was watching through. Oh, we got, we got lucky, guys. <laughs> we got lucky because I got like an ultra wide screen, so it wouldn't have fit through that. It's too, it's, it's. <laughs> okay, so safe to say that guy died. Oh. 
why didn't you just turn off the monitor, bro? Like, why'd you tell it to leave? It obviously wasn't listening, and now you got this going on in your house. Is that a panther? Oh! It kind of looked like the shadow of a panther, but it's not. It's this thing. Whatever this thing may be. Ugh. Wait, I thought it had normal hands. In our video, it had normal hands. It was going like... Maybe this is the thing that follows you when you... Turn off the lights. The body appeared untouched. Oh, now I can I can guarantee that the body was touched. <laughs> wait, wait. <a> second. <laughs> I made a funny joke and they left. That was not my editor putting that in. That was part of the video, guys. <laughs> Yo, finally, somebody that appreciates my jokes. That made me feel good. I, still, that video is scary, but the fact that I made some people off-screen laugh, you know, it's worth diamonds. So that was the third video. Next up, we got Toe again. This time, we're making friends, and the thumbnail is a heart. Hmm. I think that heart is supposed to be inside of a body most of the time. Otherwise, it's like... What's going on here? Volume. Oh, they're turning back the volume up. They turned it down last video. Time to rise and shine. Good children are up bright and early. Yes, sir. I woke up real early today. You know, the sun is shining. Had to get some of that vitamin D. Good children play pretend. Yup, used to do that all the time. I used to play pretend as a detective. Uh, That's chickens. Somebody drew chickens. These, they look like chickens. Uh, good children do not play with their food until it's all gone. Yup, don't play with your food. Never done it. Never will. Good children make friends. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm. I had friends back. What the heck? Nah, you can just show me that and then ignore it. The heart is beating. It's a beating heart, but it's not inside of a body. Make that make sense. That doesn't make sense. It, it's got like these tubes as well. What the hell? What are these tubes connected to? Does this this room have a beating heart? Is the room alive? And what is this? Pen Palace for government personal viewing only. Carter and Dominic are online. Oh, it's like a chat website from back in the day. Yo, man, what's up? It's been like forever. Okay. Seriously thought you were dead or something. Look, we've been online friends for a while now. Yes, best dot friends. I have a feeling this ain't Dominic, guys. Yeah. Hey, look, I know it's none of my business, but it feels like you've been acting really distant lately. You've been going through something? If so, I'm here and you can talk to me, man. Dot, okay. Guys, the fact that this thing keeps talking with dots makes me believe this ain't the real person. Like I said, it's none of my beeswax and you don't have to say nothing. But do you need something? Face call, please. It's like almost 1 a.m. where I am, man. Wag time zones, remember? Please, now. So this is 2005. Judging from uh, this stuff right here. Seriously, are you good? Like I said, I'm here if you want to talk. I know you started that new school recently and it was wack. Okay, yes, talk face. Or oh, maybe this thing breaks in through the cameras, right? Because it was breaking in through the screen, remember? Hey, no, seriously, I can't. Tomorrow, okay? Please, let me, friend. Seriously, are you all right, Dom? Please, 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 please. Oh, this is crazy. By the way, for all you young people out there, I'm not saying I'm old. Okay, I'm old, but that doesn't matter. Back in the day, if you wanted to chat with somebody, you couldn't just use your phone well, you could, but like, you know, text rates, you had to pay and it's like expensive. So you'd go on your computer and you'd sign into your messaging app or like program, application, whatever. And if you wanted to actually video call with somebody, you needed a webcam that had to be connected to your computer. And nine out of ten times, that stuff wasn't working. 
somebody would always have issues somebody's connection would be crap somebody's webcam wouldn't be connected uh, right somebody's webcam wouldn't be working for some reason and then like you're talking for an hour and 40 minutes out of that hour is the two of you just trying to troubleshoot so that's how i went back in the day so i can understand this guy not feeling like doing a face-to-face -face video chat with dominic right i feel that y'all might not understand but it used to be a big hassle or maybe our computer just sucked actually that might be an option i don't know if everybody had the same experience so what is he gonna do is he actually gonna call him because if he does he's gonna uh, regret that oh whoa whoa okay okay not cool man what the heck okay he just be as quiet as possible like a whisper all right it's 1 a.m guys so he's probably turned off all his lights already my mom's a light sleeper remember oh <gasps> dot help dude that was the first video we saw. It was called Starving. That help. If this is a weird prank, I hated those. They were never fun. <gasps> no way. None of it makes any sense. You could say that again, brother. Everything inside was gone. All right. Whoever accepted that video call, I think that's the their heart. People were laughing again. What the heck? So this time, we can't even see this thing's face, just its silhouette. But it's definitely in the same room as the first video. Uh, what I am wondering is if we look closely at these walls and compare that with the wall where we have the heart. It does look different in the sense of this looks more high definition. But I think the pattern on the wall matches. So these are definitely the same rooms. I don't know, I just felt like pointing that out. Maybe that's important for the story. Maybe it was already obvious, so no point in me pointing it out, but I'm going to do that regardless. This is the video that everybody's been talking about, at least the one that I've been hearing about. It's called The Boiled One Phenomenon. That thumbnail looks absolutely terrifying. It looks even worse than the toe one, so I'm really curious to see what's going on here. It's also super long. This video is almost 11 minutes compared to the videos that are only like a couple of minutes long. Uh, I don't even know if these videos are connected. Wait, hold on. We got to read that. All following media has been curated with the permission from personnel at Efrada228. Great care has been taken to keep the identities of persons involved anonymous as they requested. All right, that's cool and all, but if we go back to the first frame, what is this? This ain't a mistake. Somebody put that there on purpose. So what the heck is that supposed to be? Hopefully we'll find out by the end of this video. Warning, this video contains elements which are known to cause mild to severe cognito hazards. Including properties that may mentally and physically affect the viewer. Please refer to the following procedures in order to guarantee your safest possible viewing experience. What? I didn't even know I had cognito hazardous uh, uh, elements. Make sure you have the following in the vicinity. Earplugs, a pencil, a sheet of paper, a standard Christian Bible open to Psalms 19.10. Uh, I can already tell you the last thing. I ain't got it. Uh, earplugs. I mean, I got my headphones that are like uh, sound, sound canceling. A pencil. Uh, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I don't know how to write, so I don't really have a use for a pencil. Do I really not have a pencil? Man, grown, grown man with no pencil. That's crazy. A sheet of paper. If something unusual begins speaking in tongues, tangible to the naked ears, insert your earplugs and turn, your, turn to your pencil and paper. Okay. Write the following on the page. I can see this paper. I can see my hand. I can't hear the screaming of thousands. I can't hear the feast. I am a moving, breathing human being on planet Earth. Oh, it's like, uh, what's it called? It's like, uh, it's like, um, it's, it's a word for this. It's a word for this. Uh, uh. Affirmations. That's what it's called. Oh my God. I had to, I had to dig deep for that one, guys. By the way, don't 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 worry. I saw that. Okay, you guys are already stressing that I didn't notice that the text said something else. Because look, if you pause it at the right moment, right here, right there, did y'all saw that? That was like red text, and it says something else. I can't see this paper. I have no hand. I can hear the laughter of thousands. I can hear the feast. I cannot move, nor do I want to. So it almost says the complete opposite of what I'm supposed to write on the paper. So does this mean I've already been affected? Am I already done? 
I mean, I'm not I'm not even going to get get going to get the piece of paper cuz I don't have a pencil. So, <laughs> you know, I'm done already. You guys can go ahead and get the pencil and a piece of paper. No evil shall befall you and no plague shall come near your dwelling. After these words are written, recite Psalm 9 if memory is an imagery of something unholy persists in your mind, pray. It's all you can do. In the event you're required to carry out these procedures, contact authorities immediately. Afterwards, you will be administered amnestetics and many appear to lead a normal life afterwards. Wait, so they'll give me amnesia so I can forget this? They can do that? Many appear to lead a normal life afterwards. The boiled one phenomenon. August 13, 2003. Tree of Heaven. The boiled one, that sounds so weird. In the late 1990s, a now classified documentary based television program would debut from a local station in Pennsylvania. The program revolved around woodland pla- <laughs> Can't read that fast, bro. The program revolved around woodland plants and animals and was primarily directed towards children. The star of the show and narrator would talk about the wonders of nature, the dangers of it, how to appreciate it, and most important. Bro, if you don't leave the text on there for me long enough to read. And most importantly, how to protect yourself from it. So he was kind of like Bear Grylls, teaching you how to survive. Unfortunately, in early 2001, the program would be taken off the air due to the host passing away. Then something odd happened. How did he pass away? On August 13, 2003, the 13th episode of the series began a rerun seemingly out of nowhere. The 13th episode. The following audio recording depicts the beginning segment of this episode. Video footage taken from episode 3. Today we're venturing into the heart of the forest to find a plant that's as beautiful as it is deceptive. Poison oak. We all know about it. And here in Pennsylvania, it's not as common, but still something to look out for. Hmm. And here on we aim to uncover what the heck? The you swearing? Nature has to offer, no matter how minuscule or gigantic. So let's get going, shall we? I rock with it, y'all. I didn't know oak could be not poisonous. In deep North American woodlands, poison oak has many different names and places of origin. Also referred to as the tree of heaven. Imagine that. From China and Taiwan. One of these invasive species made its way to America in the 1700s. And took its ground here boldly. Dude, I'm actually it's learning things. It's infamous. Okay, that looked normal. During one of the interlude segments, an anomalous broadcast would hijack the program. This broadcast depicted videos of a red melted face that spoke to the viewer in a warm yet deeply disconcerting voice. Wait, is that the same thing we saw earlier? This face and its properties will be hereby referred to as Fan228. Okay, I'm not going to remember that name. As Fan228 spoke, clips of footage and even live camera feed monitoring hospitals and bedrooms will be occasionally overlaid on the screen, obscuring Fan228's face. Wait, how did they do that? Back in 2003? Though most remembered Fan228 speaking English, multiple non-English speaking viewers remembered understanding every word that was spoken. The following clip is a restored recording of the anomalous broadcast. The duration of the clip has been shortened and the audio has been muffled, reversed and dampened. These alterations are absolutely necessary to suppress its hazardous attributes as effectively as possible. For maximum safety, watch with blue light glasses and insert your earplugs. Hold on! So you're telling me this following clip if my editor don't get any ideas now, I will fire you. If they thought they could do something funny, they could just uh, reverse the following video, unmuffle the sound, and make it a little bit louder. And if I do that, <laughs> you guys are going to be in trouble. <laughs> so don't do that. Editor, don't. I will beat you. All right, I do not have blue light glasses and I am not inserting my earplugs because I'm built different. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and just watch this. You guys can do whatever you want. What the heck, bro? Oh! 
All right, now, nah, editor, go ahead and reverse that. I want to know what it said. <laughs> You will be asleep in bed. I will be there and watch over you. What? When you wake, you will not be able to move any part of you. When the doctors eventually find you, they will not see me. But you will, and I'll see you too. Forever, I'll see you. What? Did he just say he's gonna be watching me? That's what it said? That's crazy. I pff, I didn't know what I was expecting, but like it actually used words. So this was broadcast 813. Broadcast 813 was viewed by roughly 530 residents throughout the southern Pennsylvania area and upon viewing left many severely distraught. Aside from the discomfort and paranoia fan 228's television presence had brought to the viewers, there were other side effects that these viewers experienced that were highly unnatural. Many viewers report, report not being able to keep the image of the face out of their minds. Some even continue to hear its voice to this day. A victim who requested to remain anonymous claimed that the face was living in his brain and feeding on his spine? Another described trumpets playing in their ears before they fall asleep. Wait. But I also hear trumpets whenever I try to go to sleep. I'm the one making the sound though. Like, y'all can't hear it, but I have this, this strange skill. I can uh, crackle in my ears and I can play the trumpets and drums. You guys want to hear it? <laughs> None of these people knew that this was only the beginning. The beginning of a whole new species of suffering that would never be fully understood. August 14th, the Great Northeast Blackout of 2003. After the anomalous frequency was detected by television station troubleshooters, the NERC was ordered by the Ephrata branch to have all the power grids local to the state of Pennsylvania disabled by the 4 p.m. to prevent further escalation of the anomaly and public knowledge of broadcast 813. The others ultimately spread to various parts of New York, New Jersey, Ohio, and even Canada as well, creating the famous Great Northeast Blackout of 2003. Almost 80 million people were without power, so I'm not getting it back until days later. <gasps> <sighs> During the confusion caused by all the outage, all uh, the outage, the what, the what? I think it it might be in my brain. During the confusion caused by all the outage, all the traces of broadcast A13 were collected by the Ephrata brands and seemingly wiped from existence. Uh, I'm assuming this Ephrata branch, these people, these are like, it's like an SCP type of organization including news articles in the works from the morning after the broadcast, internet posts, recordings, and more. Dang, they wiped everything? The cause of the blackout was promptly covered up and claimed to have been a combination of human error and the results of trees falling onto sagging power lines somewhere in Cleveland, Ohio. It's always in Ohio! Uh, I didn't read that, hold on. But the damage had been done. So it's gonna get worse. What's gonna happen to those 530 people? 12 days after the broadcast was blocked from the air, a historically massive influx of pseudonoma, pseudocoma? Wait, pseudocoma? Wait, I know what a coma is, but what's pseudo about that? A massive influx of pseudocoma occurred throughout the state of Pennsylvania, leaving 509 people affected and many families in shock. So, coma? Pseudocoma is an extremely rare condition in which a patient experiences a cerebromedulospinal disconnection leaving them to be conscious but unable to move or communicate verbally due to complete paralysis of all voluntary muscles in the body except for vertical eye movements and blinking wait that's crazy because when we reversed the broadcast that thing was saying something about you would see it and you wouldn't be able to move so they were not bluffing that's crazy does that mean everybody who's in a pseudo coma they can still see that thing that's crazy this is worse than being in a regular coma because you're still aware of everything but you literally cannot move you're paralyzed that's what this is it's not a coma you're literally paralyzed entire body except for your eyes that's terrible i wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy no, I have no enemy. I said that as joke, joke, joke. I wouldn't wish that on anybody. Knock on wood. Nobody should should go through this for real.
This anomalous outbreak of such a rare condition was regarded as a spectacle by the US Department of Health and was put under government investigation. One thing in common with all these cases is that the patients had been at home watching TV the night the broadcast was aired. Though the victims of this outbreak were unable to speak, they were able to communicate through Morse code by blinking. More than 60 victims were interviewed. Many of these interviews held unavailing results that often led to more questions and many others held results that required archival or termination. However, fairly late into the investigation, the Ifrata branch was notified of a particularly odd case revolving around one Job Zamperini, an elderly victim of the anomalous pseudocoma outbreak. Job specifically requested <laughs> Job specifically requested his alias to be used in future records instead of his real name, which will remain classified. Why? What was he hiding? What does he have to lose? Zamperini was a war vet and fluent in Morse code, putting him on the mark as a potential interviewee as soon as the outbreak was put under investigation. He speak he spoke fluent uh he spoke <sighs> He spoke fluent Morse code. Okay, I, maybe I'm invincible to this virus outbreak thing because I don't really have much going on here. So there's not much to affect. After a very odd photo was taken in his backyard by, vis by his visiting grandson, his family became deeply troubled and convinced his house was haunted. What? Huh? What? Is this? Huh? This is random. This led them to contact the local priest in hopes his house would be blessed. The following photo depicts Fen228 standing next to the small playhouse in Zamperini's backyard. The photo itself has proved to be non-hazardous and safe to view, though still anomalous in nature for most comfortable viewing experience, wear blue light glasses or view from a distance of 3 feet or more. What the heck? That's weird. Zamperini claimed something horrible and unholy was with him and would hurt him and possibly others if he described it and what it was telling him. So he's saying this after he got paralyzed, right? He didn't see this thing until he was paralyzed. The following is a recorded recording in which Officer T. Gomez of the Ephrata branch interviews Job Zamperini. Wait, so they made up a name and they gave him the name Zamperini? How do you even make that up? Hello, Mr. I'm Officer Gomez. I hope you're doing well today. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions regarding your condition and possibly... Um unholiness within your home that your family had mentioned oh wait oh thank god i thought i had to actually de de decode the moors but they translated for us he said ask first and uh, foremost did you notice any onset symptoms before you lost complete mobility of your body there was a face hmm. when did you begin seeing this face Interesting. After I saw it on TV, it never Many left me. Many of the me. people who have seen the broadcast that you saw on August the 13th described having vivid and upsetting hallucinations. Do you think this is something your brain has created? No, Can it's in the window. This face to me? Dude, there's a window right there. Horribly burned, not of Lord Christ. I, uh, I still don't see it. Have you been having any hallucination aside from the face? I'm sorry to hear that. Bro, I think we might be hallucinating. Uh, what? 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 Hallucinating? At night before... Well, well, oh, bro, I can't, I can't read. At night before I sleep, I hear trumpets too. Thank you. You shedding light on this is helping more. Bro, hold on, bro. No, oh, what was that? What was that? Oh, no. I think something's trying to get in my brain. Let's see what that was. What the heck was that? <gasps> I think I heard trumpets, guys. What is this? I don't know what this is, but if you listen closely for like a split millisecond, you can hear trumpets, guys. Listen closely. At least, uh... I think those were trumpets. Honestly, don't 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 make fun of me, y'all. But I don't actually know what a trumpet sounds like. What the heck? Uh, Mr. Uh, Mrs. Zeppelini, 
Is that the face you were talking about? Because it kind of looks like a lollipop that fell on a carpet. Wonderful day, the miracle of birth, a fetal fanfare. You will hear the trumpets play their happy sound. Ew! Where was the sky bleeding? That can't be good. If you can see the screen, it means it's not safe to continue viewing. The program will end shortly. Well, you should have put this at the start of the video. I already watched everything. Perform the procedures given to you during their introduction. Oh. Speaking of that, uh, no evil shall befall you nor shall any plague come near you. Oh, well, uh, I don't. I, pff, I forgot my pencil. I hope I hope y'all got a pencil and a piece of paper. Because if not, we're all cooked in this together. We're all the boiled one. <laughs> now, on a real note. This is crazy. 530 people it was got paralyzed and all of them are seeing that same thing. I feel like this thing, it's planning something, guys. This is like just the start of its plan. It's planning something that has to do with everybody on Earth. I think it spreads through being seen. And that broadcast was the easiest way to get seen at that moment. But it's going to try to get in the, into other people's eyes in some way. Because I don't think it only wanted those 500 people. It wants all seven 8 billion people on earth so how is it gonna do that i wonder how maybe we'll find out if we watch the last video on this channel called the boy and the bath although i don't know if all of this is connected are these things like different creatures in the same world or is everything just its own story i feel like it might be an scp situation where there's multiple anomalies in the world and there's one organization that uh that has the task of dealing with it which i really like i really like the lore in this video i also really like the lore in these videos although i'm not really sure <laughs> what the lore is <laughs> so this one's called the boy in the bath your body remains unclean from the toils of yesterday you are in no condition to sleep like this like what <laughs> are you saying i'm stinky a shower will make you better Actually, you know, I'm, I'm not going to deny that. Whoa, what is this? It's like an old school video game. Dude, every time I blink, I move. Oh my God, this is scary. This is like a point and click adventure. Uh, I don't like this. But it wasn't my fault. Dude, every time it blinks, something could appear. There's somebody in the shower already. Maybe I can just go back to bed. Maybe uh, I'm not that stinky. Why didn't I just go back to bed? Why did you leave me here? I didn't. I, bro, I've never seen you before in my life, bro. <laughs> I don't know who you are. I never addressed it to you. Still don't, by the way. I think I went back to bed. Is that a baby crib? Do I have a baby? Oh. Huh? I know you. Hold on. Is this a metaphor? Is this a metaphor? what what i'm so confused yo that video looked amazing but i got so many questions so i guess that confirms that all of these things are kind of their own story uh whoever dr nowhere is oh well his name is silas orion and he's 17 years old he's making these videos at 17 years old first of all that is impressive that's amazing because these videos have a lot of talent behind them so they're really well made they're very beautifully made but mr silas 
Mr. Doctor Nowhere, 17 years old. That's like 10 years younger than me. How exactly do you think of these stories? Like, some of these are pretty disturbing, bro. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm not telling you to get some help. I'm just saying, like, interesting. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm just playing, guys. Y'all make sure y'all check out Doctor Nowhere down below in the description. I really enjoyed this reaction video, so if y'all want me to make more reactions like this, leave some ideas down below in the comment section, and I'll do my best. See ya.